Yo, what is up guys? If you know me, you know that some of my favorite handhelds are larger devices, but it's not just because of the large screen size. Mostly it is because the fact that large handhelds usually have large ergonomic grips and that's one of the reasons why i love these uh larger devices you can see the, the legion go has a very deep grip uh, one of my favorite devices ever the um aok zoe a1 pro large grip and now uh my new favorite device here the anu uh kun a very large grip you can see there um even the steam deck i like the uh the grip on the steam deck um the rog ally not so much but it's trying but anyway the point is i like a large ergonomic grip on my devices so that's why when i get a device like the gpd uh win 4 it doesn't really have much of a grip i um add the grip attachment uh to the device just to give it a more ergonomic experience and my latest device to me it has a problem that is the uh the gpd um win mini here i think this is a great device um the performance the screen the overall package is um pretty decent i think it's um an excellent device in my opinion but as you can see on the back it's pretty much just flat it doesn't really have much to hold on to and today we are going to fix that problem with the gpd uh win mini dedicated grip so let's get that on see how it feels see if it um improves the only real issue i have with the gpd win mini let's get that on and check it out okay so we have the grips here in this um black box open that up what do we have in here we have the instruction manual align the grip and then screw it in we do have uh some screws in here so some small screws in here the grips themselves as well as a um a small screwdriver um so the reason i wanted to get these grips is because for one the device is not um very ergonomic in my opinion and also it does get um pretty toasty on the bottom not to the point where it's like uncomfortable but it's just uh, a problem that if I could avoid it, um, I'll go ahead and do that. So let's get the um, the grip on. It does have uh, right and left indicators in there. So we can see the R and the, uh, the L for left. So that's going to help us to um, put that in. So one thing that this does sort of um, affect is the... Um, um the portability of the device so as you can see is um when you close this up it is a pretty um compact package and that is pretty much going to be destroyed we're gonna um really mess with the portability of this device but i think it's worth it um just for ergonomic sake i think that if i really needed to go on a trip with this device I could always take the um the grips off if I wanted to. But let's stop wasting time and let's get the grips on there. There are some holes on the bottom. Pretty much just line it up. And there is a uh, hole on the bottom here. So there's a hole on the back. You line that up and it should just uh, fit into place here. So let's get the screw. Put the screw into the, um, into the hole here. All right, so we got one grip screwed in now. You can see... The um, profile is much larger um, than it was before, probably like twice the um, the thickness there. But if it is a good feel, um, as far as ergonomics goes, it may all be worth it in the end. So let's get the other side on and see how it all feels. Okay, so we have the other grip on now, as you can see. Um, it is pretty sturdy, um, so I think it should be good to stay on there. Now let's see how it feels. Okay, it actually does really improve the ergonomics and the grip um, sort of as you would expect it. It gives you a lot to hold on to um, as you're playing. Your um, your middle finger sort of sits on there like a, like a trigger. So you're pretty much holding it like this in your hand with your middle finger uh, sitting on top of this little um, ledge here. So that's how you grip it. And then your um, other two fingers are sort of below it. So your finger is going to be on the trigger and the bumper. So you're really going to be looking like this, holding it like that. But it really does give you a lot to hold on to. I'm able to reach all of the um, the buttons. I can get to the trackpad uh, if needed. And it is better to hold in one hand because you can sort of hold it on 
to that grip so it is better to hold in one hand because you have much more leverage to sort of hold on to it now i can reach everything on the device the um trackpad i can reach that with both fingers um typing i think i can reach all of the um the keys without any problem it doesn't really change like how i can reach everything as you can see here i can still reach all of the keys all of the um the buttons no issues there in reaching any of the buttons um so yeah let me just do, do a quick um little gameplay see how it feels in an actual game and then i'll let you guys know my um, final thoughts on this to see if I'm going to be keeping this on. All right, you guys. So after playing with the um the grip for a uh, a while now, I must say that for me, the ergonomic experience has increased um like tenfold. To me, like this is how the device should feel. Now I know I'm I guess you could say biased because I really do like a device with a large grip. So you know, take the with a grain of salt. Um, from someone that is slightly biased towards a device with a grip but i will say um just from my um little bit of play time with it i will say that it actually um it feels great um this is how I, I i want the device to actually feel so i don't think i'll be taking these grips off anytime soon unless i absolutely need it to be like the most portable package that it can be but i will say that um it is it's, it's not the most portable device, but you could still put this into a backpack. Now, it doesn't fit in the official um, case that I have for it, but this will still go into a backpack. It's not going to go into your pocket anymore, and that may ruin it for some people. But for me, this grip actually makes the device usable, and I think that's the most important thing. Um, I get usability is first in my opinion, and then portability um, comes second because I don't want to compromise how the device feels to play it just so it can be a little bit more portable because if it's more portable, but I don't even want to pick it up, then what's the point? Anyway, I do think this grip is an, is amazing. If you um, prefer a device with a larger grip, um, I would say definitely uh, get it. I'll leave a link um, to the grip in the description. I did pick this up on Amazon, so that's good that um, it can come from a place like Amazon, so you're going to get free returns if you don't want it. Um, so the only, only thing is that it sort of um, changes the balance. The screen has to be at like... Um, 45 degrees before it will um, stand up but I do really like the grip and I must say that it is a, a must-have for me and I will not be taking it off um, I don't think ever um, so yeah stay tuned for more videos I gotta run this thing through more test um, I'm gonna put it up against some other handhelds um, gonna do some gameplay let me know in the comments below what you want to see specifically from this device if there's anything you want to see maybe you want to see um, some games that utilize the trackpad more keyboard stuff i don't know let me know I'm, I'm out of ideas let me know in the comments below and as always like subscribe ring that bell all that great youtube stuff and i will see you guys in the next one i'm going to enjoy these scripts here uh so yeah peace